Welcome back to the No Bullshit Guide to Java Spring Boot, Part 8. Today we cover headers. So we've covered multiple parts of the HTTP request, the method, get, put, post, delete, the URL, which can include a query string parameter if it's a get request, and the body. HTTP requests can also come with headers. Here are three common types of headers. Accept, what kind of media you can receive, so you can program it to return either JSON or XML depending on what the user asks for. Authorization, we're going to cover this in the security section, but this is a header. And cookies are also sent in the header. So our example, we're going to include a region of either US or Canada. This is not necessarily standard practice. This is just an example to make sure you understand how headers work. We're also going to code up and accept and return either JSON or XML depending on the request. Create a new package called headers, and then create a new Java class called header controller. Annotate it with at rest controller, and expose a new get mapping endpoint slash header. Public string get regional response, and in the method signature, we're going to pass in at request header which will be a string called region. Now normally, you would abstract this out into a service class, but we're going to skip that just for simplicity. So if the region equals US, return bald eagle freedom. If region equals can, return maple syrup. And at the end, we will return country not supported. Run your project and make your way over to Postman. After you've defined your get request at slash header, click on the headers tab and type in region US. We then get bald eagle freedom just as we expected. If you pass in Canada, you get maple syrup. And if you type in anything else, you'll get country not supported. However, if you don't include any header, you'll get the Java Spring Boot exception that says required header region is not present. To fix this, go back to the controller and add in required equals false and default value is equal to US. If you ping it again with no header, it will return bald eagle freedom. Okay, let's create one more endpoint, another get mapping, slash header slash product, public response entity of type product, get product. Go ahead and define a product for this example, and then return a response entity with that product. In the get mapping annotation, we can say produces equals, and notice when you do this, it updates the entire annotation to say value for the URL, for produces, we're going to use squirrely braces, media type dot application underscore JSON underscore value, comma media type application underscore XML underscore value. And lastly, you will need to add this to your palm file to be able to generate the XML. So paste that in and then do a Maven refresh. Boot up your project and then make your way over to Postman. And when I do a get request on this endpoint, I can pass in accept with a value of application slash JSON. And when I ping it, I get JSON. But if I change it to application slash XML, I get the same thing, but in XML format. And you might have to click this drop down to change the type to XML. Okay, that's all I have for you. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.